Hello everyone, welcome to PC Tutorial for Beginner. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect your PC file to the database. Now, in order to create a database, you need to have XAMPP installed. So here, just go to your Google or any browser, just search for XAMPP download. And once you search for XAMPP download, you get this link or see this link, just click here. And from here, you can download the XAMPP for Windows, Linux, or OS X. And make sure that you always download the most latest version. The download and installing is really simple. Just download it and then click next, 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 and it will be installed. And if you are confused how to install XAMPP, then I will keep the link in the video description. And you will also get the link at the top of this video where I showed you how you can install XAMPP. So you can follow that video if you want. So once you download and install XAMPP, you are ready to create a database and connect it with your PC project. So once you install XAMPP and then if you go to your Windows search bar and search for XAMPP, you will see something like this, XAMPP control panel. Just open it and here you can see Apache and MySQL and we have start option here. You need to start the Apache and then MySQL. So you will see the port number and also you can see that those are started here. That's why we are seeing stroke. And here for MySQL, you can see an admin option. If you click on admin, it will open the PSP my admin here. Or what you can do is that you can just copy the link from here and you can go to another browser. And if you just write this in the browser localhost slash PSP my admin, then press enter it will open your database I mean the PSC might be here you can see this might so here we are going to create a database for our project so for it what we are going to do is that if we just use this browser so for it uh, in order to create a database what you need to do is uh, you need to click here on this new option here you can see new option so I'll click on new and then here you need to give your database them you can name it anything Let's say here my PHP and then I'll click here on create button. If you click on create, here you can see it created a database and the database name is my PHP. So right now we want to connect this database with our PHP project. So in order to do that, first of all, let me just declare some variable. Let's say db underscore. We're going to mention our server name. So let's just say here server. You can declare this variable anything you want. But let's just make it more reasonable. Let's say DB server equal to it will be localhost. And why localhost? Because uh, here you can see localhost. So let's go back. And after the DB server name, we are going to get the DB username, password, and the database then. So let's say here dollar DB underscore user. So normally the username is always root. Once you just download and install them normally that db name is always root unless you change the name so make sure that the name is root after db user we need to give db password so let's just say db pass equal to so by default the password is null i mean empty unless you have changed the password in your mysql so after db password we have that database name and our database name is my php that we just created so here we are going to say dollar db underscore database equal to it was my php so then let me just declare one more variable to check whether database connection is complete or not let's say here dollar connection let's say dollar con equal to it will be empty at the beginning so right now we are going to use this dollar connection to check whether the connection is complete or not the database connection so here we are going to say dollar con equal to my sql i underscore connect we are going to give to first bracket and here on by on we are going to mention the database server name username password and database three so i can just copy this from here directly paste it here then give a comma again we are going to copy this db underscore user paste it here then we have db password copy paste after that the last one is db database 
and we need to write it in this sequence. First of all, it will check the local host, then the root user, I mean the uh, database username, password, and then it will check the database name. And you need to end it with a semicolon, like this. It will just draw out a little bit, here you can see. Okay, so once you write this, your database connection is done, but how can we check it? So you can just give a if condition, if, if this is true, if dollar $con, is true then it will show us a message let's say here equal let's say database is connected otherwise we are going to show the error else equal database not connected so right now if we just set this and if we just open it in the browser okay it's already running because i already opened it here so keep in a refresh here there you can see database is connected let me just make it smaller and this one as well let me zoom in here you can see database is connected for example if i just change the database name from my PHP to my php one two three four then save it it means this database name does not exist here this database name does not exist here so it should give us a error that or a message that database is not connected if we now save then refresh here it will give us a error so it will show us this error then unknown database my PHP on to board does not exist. So it means unknown database. So we can show this message in a different way. Uh, so let me just get uh, write this in a different way. So here I'm going to keep this uh, dollar phone inside a try gas condition. So let's say here try then to second bracket and I'm going to say here this. So I'm just going to keep this con MySQL I connected uh, this on here. Then we are going to set here catch. And inside this catch, we are going to say my SQL I underscore SQL underscore exception. If there's an exception, then we are going to say here echo. Let me just copy this for here from this else condition and I'm going to paste it here and I can just get rid of the else condition. So here, if there is an exception, it means if there is an error for this con, then it will show us a message database not connected. Otherwise, it will show the message database is connected. So here, right now, if we save, then refresh here. So it will be my SQLi, I forgot a S here. So let me just refresh here and there you can see it will show us database is not connected. And if I just remove this onto 3, 4, 4 here, save it, then refresh here, it says database is connected. And one more thing I would like to show that is if your XAMPP is turned off, for example, I just stop the XAMPP here, then if we just refresh here, it will not work. It will say database not connected. But if we just start the XAMPP again, then refresh here, it will say database is connected. So make sure that your XAMPP is running. Right now, I'd like to show you one more thing that is the database connection is required in every pages in PHP. So are you going to write those all of those lines in every pages? That will be quite a hassle. So what we can do is that we can keep this part in a separate page and connect it with our homework PHP. For example, I'll just click here file, then I'll click on new file and let's say the file name will be database.php then just press enter and let me just create file click on create file so there you can see we have created a file called database.php so what I am going to do is that I'm just going to cut everything from here from uh, home.php and paste it here then inside this uh, home.php home I can say html I can say here HTML in the body. I can say, let's say H on tag. Let's say hello world opening and H on closing. So right now we all do connect the database without home.php. So we can do it really easily. All we need to do is that here we need to say here PHP opening, then the PHP closing, and inside it we can just say here include to first bracket. To double quotation then we can say database.php which is our this file so 
will be automatically getting the code to this base automatically so it will print the database is connected and then hello world let me just show you if i now just refresh here there you can see database is connected and it is also showing the hello world so this is how we can connect your database in bhp i hope this was easy for you to follow if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials